Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you my workflow for how I will retouch this image right from uh, Capture One raw processing to exporting for Instagram or any other social media. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Welcome back guys, uh, so without further ado, I'll just show you guys what I did in a uh, capture one that is for processing the raw image. Alright, so this is, let me just bring this like this, let me create a new variant. Alright, so this is the image right uh, out of camera and this, this is the image right from camera and this is uh, my adjusted version. Of the image okay no this is my adjusted version of the image and this is straight out of camera uh, I just did little to uh, no uh, adjustment to this I just what I did here was uh, affect my levels I guess okay yes all I did was drag in my levels to balance the lighting and okay I did bring down my highlight a little bit then I went into my um, into my color editor to at least bring back and um, bring it back to bring down the red few I'm getting on this image because I'm not a fan of red so I brought down the reds okay I think I may have to bring down the yellows a little bit soon now but I'm not sure the yellows are doing anything strong oh I'll just leave it like that and then I will fix it in Photoshop so I guess that was just all I did and I um, gave a little bit of cyan into my highlight I like putting cyan in my highlight so that was just what I did in capture one here then I uh, imported for I imported into my Photoshop did my uh, composition by cropping and also changed the uh, color around here because I wasn't feeling the pinkish color of the clothes she was putting on so that was all I've done yet so now the first thing I'll do now is remove my blemishes let me just match this together so the first thing I'll do now is remove my blemishes and how do I remove my blemishes I always create a new la a layer one this is let's say my uh, fall proof let me just name this fall proof so when I make a mistake I can just delete it from here and I'll still be safe so after creating this I'll just create a new empty layer I always do my blemishes on an empty layer I just feel it is more uh, more better that way to do it on an empty layer so i use the alien brush to i make sure my sample is on current and below because once it's only on current layer that means i'm only sampling from this empty layer and once i'm sampling from an empty layer when i'm cloning it will not do anything but once it's on current and below that means it is sampling from the layer below this empty layer and pasting on this empty layer so if i should sample from an area here now and just paint on the blemishes here as you can see it is cleaning out the blemishes just like that so i won't waste much of your time here i'll just fasten this process up so i won't take much of your time please do stick around while i do this
all right so welcome back guys uh now i'm done with my um healing removing the blemishes and all so i'll just put this in the group name this blemishes yeah like that so this is my before this is my after just so to job if you've been following my channel and my work so far you know i like to do everything sort to and keeping it more natural so now that i've done okay i'm seeing some places i missed here yeah. think around here yeah. and here yeah. and here yeah. sorry my system is lagging too much load on it so it's a bit slow i think around here too is I think that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much it. Alright, so the air also, all this whitish stuff. So yeah, this is the before and this is the after. Now I'll go right ahead to do my uh, dodging and burning. If you know me, you know I like doing my dodging. I retouch using I retouch using the dodging and burning. Then I sometimes use the frequency separation to at least uh, make it more neater but most times I use the uh, dodge and burn approach of retouching skin and I already created my uh, layer my own actions that I use for doing this I have my check layer my highlights dodge and my shadows dodge all right so I'll just play this check layer and readjust this Okay, I think this is fine. This is enough to know where to dodge and where to burn. All right, so this is my check layer. This is where I, where I used to check. So it will enable me to know where to dodge and where to burn uh, and how much I should go on each area. So now that that is done, I'll play my highlights action and the shadows action. So I might just have to split up my screen this time this one uh, I'll have to close this panels so I want to switch up my I want to switch uh, my screen so I can have the zoomed out version and the zoomed in version so I can work on each uh, on each uh, on each tab separately so I'll just come to my windows arrange I'll create a new window for this document so Photoshop will automatically create a new window for this documents you're working on then go to windows again arrange then two up vertical now you have two tabs you can decide to zoom this one in while you have this one zoomed out so whatever you do on this uh, layer also shows on this layer but what i do mostly is i zoom this out this is how i will see this image on my phone or whatever device I'm putting it on so I like I like keeping my image zoomed out so I can know how far I'm going and how well it is so that's done so I'll pick my brush now set my flow to around three or two but well, most times I use three and I will start highlighting dark areas just to match the uh, uh, just to match the light and make the light more better so that is the idea of micro dodging and burning it's just like the normal dodging and burning but this way this time um, you have to brighten the dark areas you brighten the dark areas and you darken the overshadow um, and the over exposed areas just to make the light more uniform on the image so let me just start this all right so i'll pick i'll pick my highlights i'm on my highlight layer now i'll pick my brush flow three opacity 100 and just start painting on dark areas i feel should be lightened up to uh level the lights on the skin now it is not you have to do highlights or highlights first before you do the shadows no you do them intermittently 
you do the shadows you do the highlights like that until you get your desired result note this might take a little bit of time so i'll just rush this process if you want to um, understand the concept between behind dodging and burning you can just see my in my previous uh video i'll put the link to the video in the description below so you guys can just go back and watch that all right so i'll just keep this out fast in this process so you guys can i'll have to bore you guys so stick around again please Okay, so welcome back guys. Uh, I think now I'm done with my uh, dodging and burning. Uh, I'll just turn off this layer. So this is my before. This was my before and this is my after. My before and after. 
and that's the power of dodging and burning you just get this natural looking feel picture not too not over the dead you still have that natural you still see that natural feel of the image like that so uh i'll just delete this check layer now we don't need that anymore so if you want to check the x-ray as other photographers put it the x-ray of your pre of your picture all you just have to do is press alt on your keyboard or option or if you're using a mac it's option on your own keyboard but if you're using a pc like me you can just press alt on your keyboard and tap on the uh image to see your uh what they call it your x your x the x-ray of your image now looking at this x-ray i've seen some areas that i made some mistake all i have to do is turn my uh pick my black brush just to paint those areas out and i'll just do this on them so these are excess areas that i don't think i did or think should be there so i'll just clean these ones out before this is before and this is the after so i think yeah this is nice uh so now to fix the discoloration issues i have using uh after using the my micro dodge and burn you definitely have discoloration issues like this area here and this area here all you just have to do now is just create a new blank layer change the blend mode to color then pick your brush you can set your flow to around 10 or 15 depends on how you want it to be so my flow is on 10 now i'll just pick a color close to the area i want to fix i want to fix this area now so i'll just pick an area around here and while picking make sure your color picker is 5 by 5 average either 3 by 3 5 by 5 average you know it'll be on 11 by 11 that's one by that's one so one by two and average and stuff but make sure it is on 3x3 three three average or 5x5 five five average so it will pick the average between the of 5 pixels to clean those areas so you just pick somewhere around here so pick somewhere around here pick your brush and just paint to clean that area there you have it it's fixed so just do that to other areas you want to fix also like that like this area here All you just have to do is pick a color close to the area then paint then voila there you go like so i think i'm overdoing it here now so all i have to do is just bring down turn down my opacity like there it's fine all right so i might just need to run this once again and this one so uh this area too i think there's some discoloration area so i'll just fix this area too like that like this now this is nice for me i like this uh feel this uh original feel although i might see i might just need to like run it by uh you know what maybe i'll just leave it like this i don't need to run it with a uh, frequency separation to make it much better or okay i'll just do my frequency separation just to blend these edges alongside the um, air and fix other areas also so this is where i use my array panel so i just select the via gaussian blur if you use the three but the version 3.3 uh beauty retouch panel when you press the video and via gaussian blur it will automatically determine the format this if it is a 16 bit image on or an 8 bit image you're working with but if you're still using the 3.2 pan um version you should make sure you know the uh bits of the image you're working on before selecting either 8 bits or 
16 bits because many people i also made that um that, that top um, type of mistake while i was starting out i would use an 8 bit frequency separation for a 16 bit image so most times i just don't get what i want uh so i'm working on a 16 bit image here so automatically this beauty retouch panel will automatically determine the uh the bits i'm working on and create the action that fits it perfectly for me so for this image i'll go for let's see it now this is nice so i'll just keep it at it and click ok now pick my mixer brush so my weight is 20 low 30 mix 30 flow 20 and just fix some areas like here I can say it's just to fix areas not overdo everything right there yeah so if I should let me zoom out and see what I've done so this is the before this is the after okay I guess this is nice Area, this area just to blend the transitions better areas like this as you can see I'm not doing it over the whole uh, image only few selected areas of the image that I feel needs to be well smoothened out like here so let's zoom in let's see this is the before, this is the after, before, after. Uh, I think it yeah, should be like this. And yeah, it should go this way. So uh, now for the hair, I'll just zoom in this way. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Just walk on the edges this way. just make the edges more presentable to see more palatable to the eyes so let me zoom this out like this so this is my before this is my after you just fix the edges like that uh, i think i have a picture up there yeah I might just need to reduce uh okay let me just blend this i use frequency separation to clean the background also when i have a blotchy background like this so we have this done this so let me just zoom out so this is before this is after i'll just reduce the opacity by 60 or 70 just to make it look more natural this way so this is from the beginning this is where we started from and this is where we are right now this is our before and this is our after before after so to image and um, so to changes on the images so this is the before this is the after of my frequency separation now that i've done this the next thing i want to do is run my dodge and burn on this image now i'll just play this uh, action on my retouching academy panel also and so it automatically create a new to create a visual um a visual head for me to assist me in doing this now most of these images brighten the lot already so most of the thing i'll be doing now is just my burning not much of dodging now so let's just set my flow to around three also then I'll just run. Make sure you're using the your foreground color is on white, so you can just quickly run through this just to add more dimension to the face and all. Now you can turn off your FS and your micro DB just to be sure where to dodge and where to burn. So I want to bring back the shape here. So I need to just one more this area. This one, and this, and this, this area too. And 
BX here. Let me color one. So maybe it's a and probably just bring down my one my dodge here. Press the lips. Now I'm dodging my image. Let's dodge this area here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and two. Alright, so I think that is fine for me. Let me just delete this visual head and pull this one up again. So this is the before, this is the after. The before, the after, before, the after. I will just reduce the opacity to let's say around 60 or so. So now this is my before and this is my after. Before and after. Almost little to no changes at all. Let me just like this little to no change at all okay i may just need to clean a little bit of this area off like so this area also so before after before after so i think yeah that is nice that was nice for me So before after yeah this is nice for me so the next dodgy number i want to do is my contouring just to add more shape to the image and more depth to the image and how do i do that i would play my action here again delete this one open this uh file this group i will reset this curves delete then control I set the blend mode to screen. I'm doing it the old fashioned way of dodging and burning. So I'll double click on this uh, layer. Then to bring out this layer style dialog box for me, I'll drag in from this right to the left. Okay, no, from the left to the right. To the areas I want the uh, effect to be on most. And I want it to be mostly on the uh, highlighted areas so this is my highlights then i'll press alt to divide the sliders like that then click ok now i'll do that for my bone also double click on this reset the curves adjustment layer change the blend mode to multiply since we are done we are burning now so double click on the double tap on the layer to bring up this layer style and now now you drag from the left to the right okay this is fine i think 114 like here is fine so i'll just drag it this is just to add more depth and more everything to this image just to give it that contour feel so i'll go to my image now apply image then press ok now let me just lose this this is the before this is the after before after i just added this glow glowy feel to the image although i will have to reduce this to somewhere around 30 i think so this is before this is after before after yeah this is fine this is beautiful this is perfect for me so after doing this i would let me just group all this and name them my skin work so now i want to work on the teeth and other parts of the image so how do i clean my teeth i create a black and white adjustment panel layer just come down to your adjustment uh tab here then click on black and white it will bring out these properties for you sorry to bring out these properties for you then check on this tint dialog box click on the box here just to bring up this color picker layer then go for something bluish to clean the seats and the eyes so 
control i to invert the effect control j to duplicate you can name this one uh seeds name this one eyes sorry all right so press b pick your brush flow 100 uh yeah flow 100 we'll be doing it on this star yeah so let's zoom in since we are doing the eyes first all right yeah it's fine so reduce the brush and just paint on the areas you want to clean on just paint on the areas you want to clean on like this zoom in then yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, that is fine. So let's do the tit also. Select the tit layer. Then carefully painting the whiteness of the tit. Alright, so we've done the uh, whitening of the teeth on the uh, eyes, but I feel this is too much and it's looking too fake. So I'll just reduce the opacity to somewhere around 60, let's say 60, yeah, I think 60 is fine. So this is the before, this is the after, yeah, 60 is fine. You may just reduce the eyes to let's say somewhere around 70 just to match everything. Yeah, this is perfect. This looks real looks highly realistic so that is mostly what i'll do based on skin work for this image so this is where we started from and this is where we are currently before after little a minor uh little minor changes because the goal is to keep it as subtle as uh subtle as possible and make it look still look the natural feel it as from the beginning so that's that's about the eyes and the uh teeth let me just name this eyes and teeth now for the color grading of this image i feel this image is color graded already although i don't like the why um, yellowish feel this is giving me so i might just try out some things and see how it goes so here we go first i will try out this gradient map I have this uh, basics I use mostly for grading. Um, let me just for that scroll through this. Okay, yeah, it's just basically white and black uh, few. Apparently, I might just leave this in black and white. Oh wow! Oh wow! I feel this is much nicer. Oh, let me just change this to soft light and see what it gives actually soft light soft light gives a more contrasting look of the image i'll just put this on 20. so this is our before this is our after let me go to my uh, saturation oh no let me just go to the vibrance Let's see if I can reduce the vibrance a little bit. Saturation. No. Not working. So, you want saturation. Let's use the you want saturation adjustment panel. Going to yellows. Let's drag down this yellows a little bit. Okay. I'm not sure this is working well. So basically it is just about trials and errors keep trying to get the perfect feel you're looking for and i'm not sure this is what i'm looking for at all well, it might be close though but this isn't what i'm going for this isn't what i'm going for uh let me check if i can use 
Prince Mason's uh, color lots. See if it will work much better than this. Okay, so uh, somewhere around here. Okay, so let's see how this works. Oh well, let me just reduce the opacity of this. Hmm, works well, I guess. Let me turn this off. So this is the before, this is the after. Almost well. Let me check others. Nope. Although these are dark skin lots, I wouldn't advise you to use dark skin lots on a, a bright skin like this. Okay, I think this is fine. This is medium. I might just need to tweak it too. My taste, yeah, this is fine. I'll just tweak this. Let me go, let me create my, let me check this. Let's see if we can make this one normal. Okay. Let's read this thing. Alright, so I'll just check my, uh, no, not this. Let me just delete this. I'm not, should be there. I kind of like the feel it gives. So let me check. Let me go to my color balance to see if I can remove uh, some of the yellows I'm feeling in the mid tones. I think let's go. Let me put this around plus one should do. The shadows mm -hmm. let's see minus two so the before after okay the highlights let's make the highlights so. So yes, I think this is nice. I'll just reduce the opacity a little bit. I think this is nice. I'll just reduce the opacity a little bit. Sorry, I've took it too, too low. I think, yeah, this is fine before, after. So this is my before, this is my after. Yeah, I think this is as nice as it gets. Yeah. I think I'm fine with this, although I might just, I want to add some pinkish feel to this. Uh, I want to add some pinkish feel to this. Uh, lips or reddish feel. So I'll change the color. Cre I created a new layer, pick my color, pick a, choose a brighter color. So I'll just reduce my flow, let's see. No, let me just put my flow on, on red and just paint in and see how this goes. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Actually looking much nicer. So I'll just reduce the opacity. Let's see, somewhere around 20. Hmm. Okay. Let's see 20. Pick your color balance. Let's just see. Everything is try and error just to get the perfect 
feel for the lips, I guess. So, yeah, I guess that is fine for me. Oh, I'll just leave it this way. So, I think that is that mostly about this image. Uh, I won't be doing anything much about this. Although, I might just. I still need to reduce the yellowish feel on this image. I don't like the feel this image is giving me, so I'll just go. Okay, let me just use um, this. Hold on. Uh, photo filter. Let's see underwater. Let's see how that goes. Okay. I think this other water is much better. This is okay. I think it's much more better now. Yes, much more better. I still don't like the oversaturated face though. So I'll just go to my UI saturation, bring out the master up, uh, like minus eight, control I to invert this, pick your brush and paint on the area you don't want this. Like so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, color balance. Take this. Give it a little bit of red. Let's see my like three. Put this on this like that. Yeah. So this is the. This is it. Yeah. I think I've matched the face to the skin now so this is it this is what i'm going for this is my final image i think i'm fine with this okay let me just take this let me create a stamp layer and take this into my camera raw filter for further processing and see what else can be done on the image all right here we are in a camera raw filter Apparently the image is actually very nice now. Okay. A little bit of oh, that doesn't kill. A bit of shadows. Bring down the blacks a little bit. Take down the vibrance more. F minus six is fine. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take the temperature, let's say minus two. Go to my yellows, bring down the yellows closer to orange, like that, and take down the orange. Let's see. No. So, yeah, I think this is much better. So, this is the before, and this is the after. So I think I'm fine with this. I'll just click OK. And yeah, this is perfect. This is what I'm going for. And this is it. So let me just group everything together. Control G or Command G. This is our before. And this is our after. This is the before and after everything. So so i recently have posted on my story that i don't sharpen my images anymore because they appear more sharpened right from camera when you take your picture right from the camera you have less job to do in photoshop so all i do is just come to my edits change convert my profile because i want to expose for instagram and every social media platform or most of the screen or on our mobile phones supports srgb most of the color spaces uh color profile is srgb so i will change my profile to srgb mostly it will be on a, i guess either coated or web coated as swap or whatever it is just click on profile here select the srgb 2.1 then click ok so it will automatically convert the color profile color space of the image into uh 
it's RGB be for you so when you post on instagram from your phone it won't change the uh, color of the image so to save for uh, uh instagram instagram's highest quality is 1080p so i'll change my image size to the size of that so Control alt i will bring up my image size dialog box then i'll just type in 1080 to resize the image and click ok then it automatically resize the image for me i feel this way it is too sharp which i don't like so Ctrl z i'll take this into camera raw filter bring down clarity to let's say around uh, minus let's say minus 15 so yeah this is the before this is the after after minus 15 of the uh, stuff so control i again then it's a, now we have a much better version we have a much better version of the image so just control shift s on your keyboard to save to wherever you want to put this in j so basically that is how i retouch images retouch my beauty images so uh if you have other questions that you would like me to attempt just leave that in the comment section below and if you feel this tutorial has helped you in any way just please share refer friends to come to my channel watch and don't forget to please like comment and subscribe see you the next uh tutorial keep creating people and i love you ciao